It was uh, Christmas time. We decided to spend this special time in Bolivia with my family. When we arrived at the airport, the question arose, who is going with whom, in which car? I looked behind, expecting to see them parking, but they weren't there. I knew that something happened. I asked louder, where is my son? And I saw Luca lying on the street, lifeless. Mariam Kasim attended senior high school who met an untimely death on their busy road due to a speedy car. We have a major challenge with overspeeding in Accra now. As of 2017, 70% of the road crash victims were pedestrians. It's been reduced to 55%. With the support of uh, Bloomberg, people go home safe. It is not by chance that the results are getting better. The road safety project supported us technically. That led us to make progress. I am a firm believer that road safety should start from the design stage. In Ghana, our road agencies use IRAP to be able to treat those areas that crashes occur. People will definitely make mistakes on the road. We need to use a safe systems approach where we're not just looking at the roadway, but we're looking at the policies, the roadway, the engineering, the enforcement. It's a whole systemic picture. Corrasberry Road crash injuries and deaths are preventable, especially with a safe system approach. The GRSF is supporting the development of observatories for road safety around the world so that countries can see the size of the problem and target solutions. Road crash deaths and injuries cause human loss, suffering, grief and an economic burden which can be as high as 5% of the GDP of low and middle income countries. The question for us isn't can we afford to invest in road safety, but can we afford not to?